Now let us try an example to determine the long-term losses. Based on the pre-stressed concrete beam from the previous example, calculate the long-term losses. It is given that the cement use is type R, steel class 2, the design life of the structures is 50 years, the GK and QK are 7.2 and 12 kN per meter, the relative humidity is 60%, the pre-stressing force is 1,200 kN. The eccentricity of the tendon will be 450 throughout the section. It is a pre-tension member. The beam span is 12 meters. FCK is 40 newton per mm square, and seven wire standard strength is being used with the diameter of 15.2 mm. The dimensions of the sections is given here and the number of tendons are shown here. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. For you to calculate the long-term losses, you may straight away adopt this equation. However, these equations constitute the components of the shrinkage losses, relaxation losses, and also the crate losses. Therefore, you will need to determine each type of losses one by one before you can compute the total long-term losses. Now, let us first look into the shrinkage losses. The relevant equations may be referred from this slide which you will need to determine the epsilon cs in the functions of epsilon cd node and you will have to determine the epsilon cd node here this epsilon in the steel tendons to be multiplied with the modulus of elasticity of the steel and also the total tendon area with that, you will need to first determine the epsilon cd node for you to determine the epsilon cs. The equation here requires the relative humidity which is given by the equations equal to 60% and in this equation you need to determine the factor alpha ds1 and 2. It is given that the cement type R is being used. Referring to the table here, cement type R will have alpha ds1 equals to 6 and alpha ds2 equals to 0.11. Substitute the relevant value into the equation here, you get epsilon cd note. Then your next step is to determine the epsilon cs based on the equation here. You need fck which is equals to 40 and you will need this kh. The factor KH can be determined from the table here, which you need to first determine the H node in the functions of the cross sectional area divided by the perimeter of the section. From the geometrical properties of the section, you are able to determine the AC. Now you need to determine the perimeter of the section which is the summations of 2.4 meter plus 100 plus 650 plus 150 plus 300 plus 650 plus the span here plus 650 plus 150 plus 650 plus 300 and plus 100. If you find this to be complicated, you can use this 2400 times 2 represent the top line and the bottom line plus 750 times 2 represent the line here and you need to add up another extra surface of the 650 times 2 it is basically the parameters of the sections exposed to the environment. 
with the value acquired you are able to determine the hash node which is equals to 114.5 mm refers to the table which is this and do the interpolation the kh is found to be equals to 0 0.978 now substitute all the relevant value into the equation here you get epsilon cs the losses due to the shrinkage is determined by the equation here where the modulus of elasticity of the steel is 195 gigapascal and total area of the steel tendon will be a total n which is at unit times the areas of the tendon for the steel strength it is calculated to be equal to 130 kilonewton next you need to calculate for the relaxations of the steel which can be determined from the equation here the APS here represent the tendon area and you will need to determine the data sigma PR which is from this equation therefore we are going to compute this data sigma P it is given that the steel class 2 referring to the table here you get your row 1000 A and B as the value given here you will need to determine the mu here the mu here is calculated from the ratio of sigma pi per its characteristic ultimate strength the sigma pi will need to refer to the equation here as it is given that it is a pre-tension member the sigma pi will be equals to this the smaller value of the two which are 80% of its characteristic strength and also 90% of its characteristic yield strength the yield strength will be equals to 0 0.85 its characteristic strength you will need to refer to the table of specifications for the tendon use for you to determine the FPK with that your FPK is determined as 1670 where its yield strength is estimated to be equals to 1419.5 newton per mm square and the sigma p maximum will be the smaller of the two and based on the equations the sigma pi will be equals to 1277.6 the mu is determined by having this sigma pi divided by its characteristic strength which is 1670 and there is one more parameter which is t here it is said that the design life is 50 years which converted into the total number of days it will be 50 times 365 you will get this number and substitute the relevant value into the equations the ratio will be equals to 0 0.029 having the sigma pi here known you are able to quantify the sigma PR this represents the relaxation losses per unit area which when you multiply with the total cross-sectional area of the tendon you are able to quantify the total relaxation loss